listen to me. You have been held back for too long. It is your time and it is time for you to be up front, close and center. I mean like right in the front. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. It is your time. You have struggled. You have went through a lot. Whether you have had problems at your home problems with your family problems at work no matter what it was maybe even your struggle with your relationship with the lord this has become a time where god is placing you in a position where you are going to be in a total restoration are you ready for it oh you heard me right i said total restoration see the way that your life is about to shift things are moving Things are moving so swiftly. And see, what I was seeing is that many of you have dealt with individuals who have come up against you for no reason. Although you've had many who have sacrificed their lives for you because they believe in you. Thank God for those people, right? But the ones that did not believe in you are the ones that wanted to stagnate your progress. Those are the ones that are saying that God is not seeing them. The Lord does not see them. See, little do they know. Everybody sees them. See, the thing about it is most of these people who think they can't be seen and that people see them as good people, they think they're invincible. See, I was picking up on an auntie who you have in your life, whether this is your mother, paternal or maternal side of the family, an aunt who has a vengeance out to get not just you, but it's mostly your mother's or father's children. So that includes you. There's a point when whoever this auntie is began to see you as a threat, began to see your mother or your father as a threat. I don't know if this woman has children or not, But whatever happened, these children aren't like their sister or brother's children, which would be your father or your mother. Nothing like y'all because see y'all, y'all are totally different. It's something about how God chose to, to pick your generation to do something to help the whole entire family, to bring change in the whole entire family it's like god chose you just like he chose david god chose your family just like he chose the family of david do you hear me and see whoever this auntie is she's the one looking at everything from a perspective of its mind i gotta have it it should have been my children it should have been me doing this and it feels to me that she's in competition with your mother or your father in competition your parent don't even know nothing about them being that's the crazy part your parent does not even know that your aunt is in competition with her or him in the family just totally just don't know naive talks to this person still communicates still hangs out with them but there's something that you know about this auntie but your mama your daddy don't see it it's something you know because You're like, I said, the child, just like David, who was chosen. See, he knew a lot of things chosen to where he knew God and God knew him. God gave him messages, you know, God sent people to help him. And see, that's the thing about it. It's something, it's something about you that couldn't even connected your family to be blessed. Okay. Your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, it connected y'all. You are the one who connected y'all to the favor of God. It's crazy because it makes no sense to some people. On the outside looking in, they don't understand why it is that you have so much favor or why that you will be the one to change or be the one to help your family, to help generations in your family. They don't get it. See, they don't understand it because you look different. You, you're you're from a different breed. It almost feels like some of you guys don't have the same. It's something about you being, it may be your, your father's side of the family that's not connected to your auntie or your, your mom's side of the family who's not connected to your aunt. It's whichever one that is. 
that's not connected to her. That's where you get this anointing from. This is where you get the difference from. It made a difference. But it's because those that were connected to you in your household growing up, who, who were born around you, like you were there. You were the light, the center of attention. The reason why God did this in your family. And see, you you were chosen to break generational curses, to break chains, to do things in this whole entire family. Not just your, your mother and your father's side of the family will be saved. They will be changed. They're going to change eventually because this is your mission. And see, this auntie can't stop that. And that's what she's so furious about. It's crazy because it's almost as if it's driving her to sickness. This auntie has not been well. She just, it keeps being something after the other, one thing after the other. There's something going on. When she thinks she's out of one thing, another thing happens. But it has something to do with, with sickness. And I ain't wishing it on nobody, but that's what's happening. That is what I'm getting. And the reason that this woman, and I'm going to call it a woman because she can be your auntie, but ain't no auntie, not no real one. Not no real one going to do this to you, to your family. They, they wouldn't do that. This woman sits and, and does not realize that she keeps bringing infirmity. Infirm I had to make sure I was saying that word right. She keeps bringing infirmity and, de and diseases upon herself. And it becomes, it's becoming so obvious that these things are happening to her because of her ways, her wicked ways, that even other people in your family are starting to see that something ain't right. I mean, she, this woman goes to church. She's one of them church going, singing in a choir, Mary, you know, all that. She got it all together when it comes to the things of the world. But when it comes to the infirmity, it's not, can't a doctor help it? Only person that can help her infirmity is the Lord for her to do right by people, to do right, to be the right way instead of portraying herself to be such a loving godly person which it ain't true we know we know darn well that ain't true see the thing about it is your auntie has it got it. she has it twisted she has it twisted if she would have just came to you and been real with you and real cool with you like she was supposed to be a real auntie okay she would have definitely had seen a different outcome for her life there has been so much going on with this woman i don't know what to think about this because my thing is, if you're seeing yourself getting sick, if you see yourself keep going through these things, it's time to turn away. But it almost feels like God has turned her over to a reprobate mind. It's gotten to the point to where um, the verse of the day even speaks of it. Let's read it. Let's speak on it. All right. Okay. So it says, the glory of the Lord of Israel answered me. The sin of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. The land is full of bloodshed and the city is full of injustice. They say the Lord has forsaken the land. The Lord does not see. So I will not look on them with pity or spare them, but I will bring down on their own heads what they have done. Okay, do you hear me? What they have done. See, these are things. This was in Ezekiel 9, 9 through 10. Okay, so... What God is saying here is that the people of Israel and Judah had sinned so much and they felt as if God wasn't seeing them. They felt like God wasn't hearing them. And so this is what's going on with your auntie. She feels like she's not being sought at, seen. She feels like God is not looking. So she might as well do what she want to do. Just, just keep on in her sin. Do you hear me? And it says that the Lord, they feel like the Lord has forsaken the land. She feels like God has forsaken her for the things she's going through. She's not saying this to nobody else, but this is what she's thinking. See, a lot of people don't know that when you're prophetic or when you have the anointing, you can understand what another person is really actually thinking. Is that Are they really, really of God? Are they really walking with the Lord like they say they are? Especially if they're, they're proclaiming it. You know, they keep proclaiming who they are, like who they are a child of. But God sees, God sees this auntie just as she is. So it says, so I will not look on them with pity or spare them. There's no pity here. I feel like you even went through a traumatic time in your life and this auntie was right there. 
This auntie was there helping hands, helping you, helping your family, whatever happened was there acting as though it was something cool, but it wasn't. This woman sat here and had secret animosity against your family, laughing within, but smiling on the outside. You knew it. You knew it because this is what this is the anointing that God gave you. This is the calling. It's a part of your calling. You know, many of us have spiritual discernment. But with you, yours is really, really on fleek. It's on high, on fleek. Yeah, I said it. It's you on high alert, like you're in direct contact with God himself. And so you know that this auntie ain't never been for you. It, it's something about some things that happened when you were born and she knew that you replaced her. It's kind of like if you see, I keep talking about David, but it's kind of like with Saul, King Saul. He lost his anointing. So he had to have David to play the harp for him to keep those evil spirits away from him. Same thing with you. Whatever it is that you do, when you came on this earth, this woman, your auntie knew that you was the one. Knew that you were chosen. Knew that it was something different about you. That whatever gifts that you have. Whatever potential you have. Was replacing her. And that's just like with David. David replaced King Saul. King Saul became very evil and wicked. And he ain't touch him. He David didn't have to touch King Saul. All David had to do was allow God to do his work. And King Saul was out of there. After so long, King Saul was out of there. He wasn't no more. King David took his throne, which was rightfully his. Because he was already anointed for it, remember? He just had to wait. See, many of you are waiting on your turn. You're waiting on something to happen. You're waiting on God to do something in your life. You've been waiting for a long time and you feel like it ain't going to ever come. But I'm here to tell you, just like David, he got that. He took the throne. He took his place in the kingdom. And that's where God is trying to do for you. I don't care how much your auntie or anyone, anyone, how much they have, how much knowledge they may have of this world, knowledge in books, book knowledge, all of that. None of that replaces the wisdom of God. Because you know it says the, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. Is The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. See, you know God. You acknowledge him for real from your heart. That's the real real. You ain't playing. You ain't out here playing like this woman. You have it. It's you. You the one. And you're the reason why things are about to shift in your whole entire family. And this auntie, she will continue the way that God is doing. Unless she turns her life around. And we're going to be praying that she turn her life around. So she won't be messing with you. Okay. Because we ain't got time for that. Okay. Because it already says in his word. I will bring down on their own heads what they have done. This woman. She wished death upon you. She wished sickness upon you. She wished all of that. It's all coming to a head. And she's going to have to back down regardless. One way or the no another. Because you're you taking your crown. You're taking your throne. And God is doing that. All glory to God. It's yours. Type in the comments. It's mine. It's mine. And ain't no devil in hell. No this auntie can stop what God has given you. Cannot curse what God has blessed. Do you hear me? Y'all better get ready. Listen, listen now. Don't, don't go nowhere. I'm, I, we got books, y'all. We got books for days. We got, I got more in the box, okay? And, and my book is available. I'm going to put the link in the description bar below. I'm going to need you go, to go and get my book. Yes, we calling this the bestseller, okay? Because th this is my main book right here. And I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and get that book so you can read it. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's a lot of stuff in this book that's going to help you through your life of going through what you're going through. Whatever you got going, your circumstance, the power of God to help you get through it. All of that is in this book, okay? It's going to help you with what you're going through. All right?